baby also causing some excitement along Interstate 40 in Dixon County when a woman went into labor on the side of the road. The mom to be was on her way back to the Memphis area when she started having contractions. WREG's Melissa Moon is live along the interstate tonight with more on the trooper who jumped in to Melissa save the day and deliver the baby. You're exactly right. Well, Dixon County is about two and a half miles east of Memphis. The trooper who brought that baby boy into the world along Interstate 40 wasn't even supposed to be at work. The biggest thing was trying to calm everyone down, um, even the other officers that were there. You know, everyone was a little deer in the headlights, you know, and, and I under understandably. You know, that, that's something that doesn't happen maybe but once in a lifetime. Tennessee State Trooper Aaron Bronker is talking about the moment he reached a driver who was about to have a baby along the side of the interstate. Bronker was working a crash in the westbound lanes of I-40 near Dixon when he learned a pregnant woman was stuck in the traffic jam in labor. Yeah, Dixon, Dixon was going to be it because I couldn't, I couldn't make it past that. Sherry Madrid, a staff sergeant in the Tennessee Army National Guard, was training in Smyrna when her water broke. She thought she could make it back to DeSoto County until she started having major contractions. The contractions has gotten closer together and, and I, I kind of felt more pressure. How many minutes did you have to spare before you realized that she was, the baby was coming? Three. Trooper Ranker, who was also an EMT for 11 years, jumped into action and delivered the baby before the ambulance even got there and later checked on them in the hospital. To get him initially crying and moving. I heard that scream. I knew we we're going to be okay. Quite an experience. Trooper Ranker wasn't even supposed to be working that shift. Madrid says he was the right person at the right place at the right time. Any EMT or paramedic experience are very few and far between in Tennessee. There isn't many of us. So the fact that it was me at that time, at that place, I mean, it was almost an act of God. I would not have known what to do, so I was very thankful for him being there. Now that baby boy was born about three and a half weeks early and weighed six pounds, five ounces. The mother and baby are still in the hospital tonight, but doing fine. No word on a name yet. Live along I-40, Melissa Moon, WREG News Channel 3.